Hello everyone, welcome to my channel again. So in this video, we will discuss, actually we would visualize the reason behind algebraic identities. Those are A plus B whole square and A minus B whole square. So we would see why A plus B whole square is equals to A square plus 2AB plus B square and why A minus B whole square is equals to A square minus 2AB plus B square. So let's visualize these two algebraic identities. First of all, we would visualize the algebraic identity that is a plus b whole square equals to a square plus b square plus 2ab. So for that, what we need actually, we, ne we need a square. So we would take a square here and we will decide its color, any color you may take. I'm just taking a red color here. So you may check out. I have taken a square uh, of red color whose side is A. So I'll just write A over here. So this is A and this is also A because this is a square. So as we know that sides of square are equal, that means each and every side of this square is A only. So if we talk about its area, so we know area of square is side square, so it would be A square. So area of this square would be A square. I hope this part is clear. So we have taken a square here. Now we would take another square and that I'm again uh, taking in a, again, uh, in a different color basically. So I'll just draw a square here. So you may check this square and this square is with side B. So I'll just write here B uh, is the side of this square. So each and every side of this square would be B. This is also B and this one is also B. So if I talk about its area, so area of this square would be B square because area of square is side square again. So now we are having two squares. So the red square area is A square and the yellow square area is B square. Now we are going to take rectangle. So we will take a rectangle and that I'm taking in a blue color. So I'll just draw a rectangle for you. So here we are having a rectangle, you may check out. So of this rectangle, if you just check out its uh, length and breadth, so you would be able to see that uh, the length of this rectangle, so on the top, uh, you may check this part, basically this part I'm talking about. So this is B, right? So the bottom part and the upper part, is equal because opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. So if this side, basically, if this side is B, so the topmost side would also be B. So I'll just write B over here, okay? Now, if I talk about the width of this rectangle, so you may check out in the red square, this side is A, right? I have already told you that this is A here. So that means this side would also be A, correct? because these are equal. So now, if you check this blue rectangle, we are having length as B and the breadth as A. So the area of this rectangle would be length multiplied by breadth and that would come out as A, B. So I hope this part is clear to you that the red square area is A square, the blue square, so, sorry, uh, the yellow square area is B square and the blue rectangle area is A, B. So the same rectangle, the blue rectangle, I'll draw here as well in the empty space. So I'll take again a rectangle. Okay. So you may check out why I'm saying that it is the same rectangle. You may check here. Uh, so in this rectangle, this side, this side is B, right? Because this is B here. So this would be B also. It's same, correct? And the red square, this side is A. I have written on the top as well. So if this is A, so the rectangle, this side is A, right? So in this rectangle also, we are having length and breadth as AB respectively. So the area of this rectangle, we can say as AB. So if you just check out both the rectangles in a blue color, the area is same, that is AB. So now what we are going to do, we would add the separate areas. So let's see. The red color square is having area as A square. This is the area of the red square. Then area of a yellow square. 
would be b square right and now we are having two rectangles so area of first rectangle is ab this would be ab and again area of another rectangle is ab so that would be ab again so if you solve it it would give you the answer as a square plus b square plus ab plus ab would be 2ab so the answer which is appearing over here that is a square plus b square plus 2ab is a separate answers like we are adding red yellow and blue uh, square and rectangle area now if you just check it's completely making a bigger square so which square it's making i'll just show you uh, i'll just uh, make outline of that basically to represent like which part i'm talking about i'm talking about this complete part basically because red blue and yellow they are uh, forming a square over here correct right? so if we talk about the complete part so in this complete part the sides we would check out it's a square like right? it's forming a square here you can observe easily so the side of this square would be this much is a and this is b right so the whole side would be a plus b i hope this part is clear now we'll check the uh, left and right side that is the width of this okay so if you check this much part is a and this much part is b because if this is b so this is also b right so the complete side of this square would be a plus c from here as well so now it's clear that it's actually a square only because the sides are also same here so if you just check out the side of this complete big square i'm talking about big square here so i'll just write big square so in this big square the side we are having as a plus b so if side is a plus b and we know area of square is side square so the area of this big square would be a plus b ka whole square right so this is appearing as the complete square and when we were adding its parts it was giving us the result as a square plus b square plus 2ab and that is the reason a plus b whole square is equals to this a square plus b square plus 2ab i hope this identity is clear to you that why we apply it for solving the questions now we are going to see one more identity over here and that is related to a minus b whole square so let's see that activity as well so for appear uh, like for applying that activity we need a square again so i'll just take a bigger square here you may check out so i'm just taking uh, this bigger square side as a all right so i'll just write here this side is a this side is also a so the area of this square would be a square right so i'll just write here the area of this green square okay area i'm writing in short as ar area of big square which i have drawn here area of big square is a square i have written here all right so we know that area of big square is a square i have removed a square from here because i i am going to do some drawing over here so this complete big square area we have written as a square so what we would take now we need a uh, a one more square here that would be with side b okay so i'll just draw a square again so i'll take this much so i am just taking this much so it's a square here i'm taking and whose side is b okay so i'll just write here this is b this is also b so the area of this red color square would be b square i hope this is clear now if we check about this complete square again the complete side was a and this much is b right so if i talk about this left over side this much what it would be it would be a minus b i'm speaking again 
how it would be a minus b the complete part basically is a and this much part is b so the remaining would be total minus b so that is a minus b so this part would be a minus b right so we have applied that part let me raise this just a second okay so we are having this part now a minus b we got this uh, side okay so this is a minus b and if you just talk about uh, this part here i'll just make a line to make you understand so i'm just talking about this part i'll just complete it like this for clearing your concept okay so now if you just check out so uh, here this complete side was a right i told earlier and this much this much is b why it's b because we have formed a square on the right side which is having side as b so if this is b so the opposite would also be b right so this is b now if i'll talk about the remaining one so which part remaining basically i'll just erase this a from here okay so now i'll talk about this part so i was talking about the remaining side here so the remaining would be complete minus this part so it would be a was the complete part and b is the upper side so this would be a minus b here right so now you know that this is also a minus b and this is also a minus b right so I, if i just cover this part so i'll just make a line to cover it i'll draw a line here okay so uh, if i'll just fill this part also with some color it would give you more clarity so this much part basically this yellow portion is a minus b whole square now i'll describe again why it's a minus b whole square because i told you here that this side is a minus b i described how earlier and this is also this side is also a minus b why because on the top i described so now the yellow square side is a minus b so the area of this yellow square would be how much yes a minus b whole square and we need to find its answer only we are going to apply this identity yeah like we are going to observe why a minus b whole square is a square plus b square minus 2ab that means we need to find the area of this yellow square and we will relate it to its right hand side that is a square plus b square minus 2ab so let's see so how we can find the area of this yellow square what we can do the complete bigger square i'll just show you which bigger square i'm talking about so i'm just talking about this complete bigger square from this bigger square basically if i'll subtract which part which part i'll subtract i'll just show you which part i'm talking about so if i'll subtract this part this part and this part that means we would be left with this yellow portion only right so what we are going to do for to find the answer of this a minus b whole square from the bigger square we would minus we would subtract the area of the green portions and the area of the yellow portion so bigger square area is a square we have already written area of the from this bigger square basically from this bigger square we would subtract which part the red color square area and the red color square area is b square what and what what we are going to subtract the green color portion so if you check the green color portions they are equal again and the area of this green color portion would be this is a minus b the side and this is b right so area would be a minus b multiplied by b that is length multiplied by breadth right so we are having two rectangles so what i can do here we can do twice of a minus b into b i hope this part is clear why i'm doing twice because we are having two green rectangles one and two okay so instead of adding two times i have just multiplied with two so if you solve this bracket now so let's see how much you are getting the answer a square minus bracket again b square i'll just multiply 2b with the 
terms written inside the bracket and that would be 2ab minus 2b square. Now again we would solve this bracket and that would be a square minus that would give you b square minus 2b square that is minus b square because 2b square is a greater uh, term here and plus 2ab. Now we would just open the bracket so the signs would change because this is minus here minus minus plus and plus minus minus. So amazed to see this answer. So we are getting the same answer which is equal to the yellow square answer. So this answer is for the yellow square and this yellow square is equal to this a minus b whole square. So that means this a square plus b square minus 2ab is equal to a minus b whole square. So I hope this, these two identities are clear to you. If you want to just check out, you can apply it. You, what you can do to do these activities basically, either you can take a plain white paper and you can just make square with uh, the ruler, like measure with the measurement, any measurement. And then you can color those portions. One way is this. Another way is you can bring the colorful sheets and then you can cut and then paste. Right. The, the, if you would, uh, you can do either of them, uh, like either of the two ways, basically, to up, apply these identities and to check out the results. Okay. Let's apply these concepts and let's do these two activities, means uh, two identities activity. And if you are liking my video, do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.